Welcome back to the Nutri Medical Report. And we have, of course, uh, Tim Alexander, our geopolitical, historical, military strategic analyst from a Christian point of view. And uh, his blog is Europe Business with 1s.blogspot.com. You need to visit every day. And I've been encouraging uh, Tim to put together, he's a history professor, a, um, a uh, e-newsletter, which I think if people read regularly, which is an expansion of his blog, I think they'd get a tremendous amount of information perspective. This could be good for politicians, for people just in prepping, for people wanting to know what's going to be next. And if you look at the yeah, current it, events it, it right it now... it will make my FBI file even thicker, but you know, there comes a point where you really have to say, I don't care. Uh, ultimately, my wife's dead, I'm 63, and if I go with my boots on, I'd far rather go with my the down with my boots on and fighting for the country that my ancestors helped to create back uh, in the 1700s, there you go. There you go. Uh, then so, uh, simply uh, roll over and play dead. Uh, exactly. I really hate what these evil bastards are doing to this country and this world. Mm. Uh, it's it's in direct opposition to God. It's in direct opposition to the well, human race. Other exactly. Than that, they're, just, they're real sweethearts. Well, I, I, I tend to agree. Yeah. Other than the fact that they're they're on their way and and they call it a hand cart to hell. Uh, and they're the sons of Satan, and they deserve all of the judgment. We need to pray for them, by the way, because that speeds their judgment. Prayer speeds either uh, repentance or judgment. People should always remember that when you when you feel like, hey, uh, we need to get Obama to straighten out. Yeah, pray for him. Pray for him, and God will take care you're, of him. You're quicker. totally right. It's very hard for me to pray for him. but uh, And it's very hard for me to pray for most of the clowns in the U.S. Congress. I actually uh, uh, think most of them should be taken out and hung. Uh, uh, well, uh, Boehner, but, but, trying to, trying to but get the amnesty you're bill. You're right. I should pray for him. Yeah, even look at Boehner trying to get an amnesty bill. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to cover today, so let's start yes, at we the do. top. Yeah, let's let's start at the top. Okay, what, well, what um, happened in FA in the uh, in Los Angeles airport and elsewhere? I mean, there's some weird things going on here, isn't there? Yeah, uh, two days ago, uh, you had a major computer glitch at Gatwick, uh, which is the third airport in London. It's a little ways out of uh, downtown, uh, kind of London. And I've used it before. Uh, it's not a bad airport, but it's, it takes quite a while to get there. You best go on train. Anyway, that was a, a very unusual thing. Then yesterday uh, in the evening, or late afternoon, uh, my time, uh, Chicago time, uh, the they had a real bad major uh, computer glitch centered on LAX, and uh, it shut down all outbound flights from quite a few airports, basically from the West Coast. Uh, it uh, its tentacles reached all across North America as all kind of flights were being canceled because of what was happening in LAX. Um, and simultaneous to that, and this is very interesting, and the mainstream media is, is just ignoring this. It's like it didn't happen, but it yeah. did. AT&T had a massive outage, and Verizon Communications had a massive outage. And I posted uh, today uh, on my site, uh, and, and the best way to find it is uh, Large Sterling uh, Europe. Uh, and anyway, uh, do a Google search. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it, it's not. A, I don't believe in coincidences. This uh, it wasn't big enough to uh, for the media to be screaming we were under attack. Although I screamed it, but uh, the, so I don't think it was a false flag. Uh, I think it was probably a warning shot, uh, especially now that I know that uh, London had been hit because I didn't know that until just recently. Um, this was a warning shot to the UK and to the United States and NATO. By by somebody, probably Russia, we can hit you asymmetrically in ways that uh, you know you don't even anticipate. We can hurt you. Now, straighten up, be good boys, take your toys, go home. Uh, let's not have World War III. Let's not go down the road that you're intent on us going down. Um, exactly. Okay, now, tomorrow, uh, May 2nd, this is May Day, which uh, uh, was this great day that uh, the Rothschilds decreed was to be the big Labor Day. Uh, it so was by, on this day in 1776 the, that the Illuminati was founded by well, Rothschilds. It's also the day that uh, Russia celebrates communism, and it's the first day, I think, in uh, over 20 years where they had a red square parade. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, 
I've been in Red Square several times, and uh, I was right there. There was no line to get in Lenin's tomb, the mausoleum, to see his pickled carps. And I, the historian in me really wanted to go in, but the Christian, I just couldn't do it. I, I really couldn't. I, I, this man killed 80 to 100 million uh, Russians, uh, mostly uh, Christians because they were Christians. And I just, I couldn't do it. I, I And if I probably would have been in a lot of trouble if I went in and did something like spit on, <laughs> spit on the, yeah, you know. Major the, crime, uh, spit on sarcophagus. Spit yeah, on I'd still be in a Russian prison. But anyway, uh, so, you know, I, I, I refuse to go in. But uh, anyway, tomorrow, uh, uh, the... The Kiev coup junta plans to storm federal buildings in the southeast Ukraine beginning tomorrow. Now, if they do this, and again, uh, I want to tell you this this Ukra- Ukrainian thing, you, you read the tea leaves and you look at everything that's falling in place, uh, one day and the next day they're all jumbled around and it's totally different. So you, yeah. it's, it's very difficult to, uh, to analyze it and say this is probably what's going to happen the next couple days. But uh, if this does happen, if they do begin a major military operation tomorrow, then the you-know-what will really hit the fan. Yeah, in other words, you see all the parties, uh, it's almost like, how can I say it? Uh, have you ever seen kids that are back in our generation, back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, uh, when we were making bottle rockets and making our solid fuel rockets and playing around with Molotov cocktails and anything we wanted? Basically, nobody's telling you can't do it. I never played around with Molotov cocktails, but a buddy did make some nitroglycerin. That no, well, we, anyway. uh, we played around with everything from solid ex- solid fuel rocket and explosives to everything you could think of. Yeah, uh, well, I had a, uh, like a bottle rocket launcher that was kind of like a grenade launcher. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, the point is that kids, boys are boys. It, well, here's the point: what these people are doing, what Obama and the West is doing, is they're playing with Molotov world cocktails. And uh, when you don't have children, and that's the way they're acting like children. Uh, we could have an accident and trigger off a war. Uh, it could be as simple as something like uh, the missile systems in Syria, because the Syrians realize they're about to be attacked. They get advanced radar warning from the Russians, and they just decide to start taking out American ships sitting in the uh, off the, the Syrian coast. And that most certainly could happen. Uh, one of the uh, concerns that Russia has about tying down all their airborne troops, and they haven't, by the way, they've kept many of them uh, available, is if they are tied down, uh, a massive uh, Israeli attack into Syria uh, was supported by American and NATO forces. Uh, So they haven't tied down all their airborne troops. What they have on the border of Ukraine heavy artillery heavy forces and believe you me it's more than enough to take all of the ukraine within about three days right so uh, I, I don't understand why the military strategists are even entertaining the idea of getting into a conflict with russia what they should be doing is how can we work on something that both parties save face how can we work this out so so basically we won't disrupt the oil and, and gas to europe what I think, Dr. Bell, and of course we've talked about this before, I, I think we can't, when we look at it, you and I and, and, and 99.9% of the population uh, look at this and they say, this is crazy. You don't want to pick a fight with a nuclear it's because they are this crazy and they're evil and they, they want we, death. I mean, this is demonically driven. This is this right. is people who are, have gone so far down the road of evil, of power, of corruption. Demonic they can't tell the truth if they, if they want to. Right. You know. In fact, I think a term you use is, you coined it, demonic madness. Absolutely. It defies any form of logic, even greed. It, it goes so far beyond greed, even, and power hungry, it's just demonic madness. And exactly. In fact, the greedy people, the billionaires, are freaked out. They don't want this. of things to cover, uh, and you, you have a tremendous amount of material in your blog today. Uh, let's pick the top subjects. Uh, the U.S. economy, of course, is devolving. It's a house of cards, and uh, this is the basis of why they're pushing for war. In fact, some of the latest rebukes as uh, Obama traveled around, he really had a terrible time in his latest tour. Um, let's talk about these issues and connect the dots all together. Well, 
basically at the highest levels, everything major is interconnected uh, because you have in a very large part of the world a very very small group of people the global bank the international global banking cartel families there's basically eight families and a few others that are at the second tier that are insanely rich they're trillionaires multi-trillionaires and they seek to form a in a sense a world government but the first step and the critical first step is having a a one world currency that will be electronic that they will control that will replace the chaos which they're creating the war is designed to create chaos Uh, Ultimately, whether a a Ukrainian, uh, um, U.S., NATO versus Russia war becomes World War III or just becomes something very nasty if if it happens. Uh, My guess is it's going to get nasty enough to propel us towards this peace treaty that the Bible talks about. The peace treaty, but also uh, it, it, it could very well trigger the global economic collapse that will oh, lead us yeah, to yeah. something which they want very, very badly, and that is the one world currency. Because you see, yeah. that's the foundation of a one world government, and that government is designed to be a slave state. That government is not designed to deal with a population of seven billion people on this planet. That government, that, that one world government is designed to deal with under a billion people, which means you have to wipe out a very, very large percentage of the human race to make it more controllable, to get rid of what they call the unnecessary uh, eaters. Now, if that's not demonic from hell, I don't know what is. I mean, that is just so rotten. It's so evil. Uh, It's not Kill, going out and killing a, a room full of kids. It's killing, you know, six billion plus people, of which, what, a couple billion are children at least, a uh, billion or, or so are old people and the rest, uh, you know, in between. Yeah. But I, it, that's, that's beyond the pale. When you deal in those numbers, you, you can count with those numbers, you can add with those numbers, but you cannot comprehend a billion of anything. And, of course, you've got 17 uh, facts that anybody who thinks the economy is doing well, maybe they've been like Rip Van Winkle sleeping. Um, <laughs> well, seventeen that facts are you're uh, dumber than a rock. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you run through some of these if you have them right in front of you? Uh, I have to click it on. Give me a quick second here. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, the uh, Putin has approved the sale of the S-400 air defense system uh, to China, which is a very big deal. Uh, yeah, I, it's the I'm, best air defense system on Earth. Yeah, and it's basically it. It basically neutralizes any offensive att- attack. Uh, let me run through it quickly. Number one, yeah, home ownership okay, rate in the U.S. Yeah, has I've, dropped. I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I got it yeah. now. Okay, why don't you run through it? Number one, okay. home ownership rate in the United States has dropped. Uh, the home, yeah, home ownership has dropped to the lowest level in 19 years. Uh, cons- number two, consumer spending for durable goods has dropped by 3.23 percent since November. Now that's a pretty clear sign that the economic uh, showdown is here and is, is, is expanding. Major retailers are closing stores as the fastest pace we've seen since the collapse of Lehman Brothers and really just about since uh, the Great Depression. Uh, four, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 20% of all families in the United States do not have a single member that's employed. Now, that's a fourth. I'm sorry, a fifth. Uh, a fifth of, and this is the U.S. government statistics, so it's probably much worse than this. But that means a fifth of all families in America don't even have a single member that's employed. Wow. Um, and, you know, I, yes, we have uh, a lot of people that have become very lazy and want to live off of welfare. Well, most it, people want to shepherded work. into it. They've been shepherded into it and trapped. Uh, let's go on. Continue. Number five. Uh, uh, 1.3 million fewer jobs in the U.S. economy than the last recession began in December 2007. Of course, in the meantime, our population is continuing to grow steadily since that time. So it is, there's no standing in, in place. Uh, we have to run faster and faster just to keep up, and we're not keeping up. Number six, uh, according to a new report from the National Employment Law Project, the quality of jobs that have been created since the end of the so-called last 
recession does not match the quality of jobs lost during the last recession. In other words, under under uh, the abominator, uh, we're, we're going to hell in a hand wagon very fast. Uh, Low-wage industries constituted 22 percent of, of the jobs that have been lost, but of 44 percent of any recovery growth. In other words, yeah. the number of, of, of uh, minimum wage jobs and near minimum wage jobs is increasingly a larger yeah. percentage of our yeah, In other words, it would, what would you call them, Mick jobs? Yeah, but me, uh, working at Mickey D or, or, or Wally World or something for yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten dollars an hour. Right, uh, which isn't going to feed you or, or close you or put you in housing. So you're dependent on the government rule uh, and the government has to print money or like this Piketty uh, plan, uh, they want to tax the wealth into non-existence. Well, one, that's not going to happen. And two, in Sweden, uh, they have had a negative uh, uh, income tax. In other words, if you're at a certain level, you actually pay 100 plus percent of your income. Uh, you know what? The richest family in Sweden is still the richest family in Sweden. They're still worth many billions of dollars. Uh, the, what happens with that is it goes after the lower upper class and the middle upper class, but the upper upper class, the real money, they don't get touched. And even some of the other two lower upper class uh, categories, the ones that are smart, have taken their money overseas. They've hid the money. So, you know, uh, it, it, it's hype. It's not reality. It's yeah, lies. Exactly. Gee. Yeah, yeah. And, and the wealthy are getting wealthy. from our lying administration, our lying mm -hmm. Congress, mm -hmm. and ooh, yeah. um, that's yeah. part now, of the way, course, unfortunately. The, and I, I'm a dual citizen. I'm an American, but I also have Canadian citizenship. Canadians middle class is now making more money than American middle class. That's well, scenario. yeah, uh, the United States is 17th in health care, quality of health care. I mean, we're way down the list in a broad yeah. category. All of these are fixable. All of these are fixable. I brought out solutions on every single one of these issues. The evil ones don't want to fix it. They want to live off and actually amplify the disaster. Well, the first so thing you have to do is, 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 is kill the Federal Reserve System as a, a privately owned uh, institution by, by mostly European bankers uh, right. that can create uh, money out of thin air, loan it to the government, and then collect the, the principal and the inter compound interest on it. That, that guarantees you a nightmare. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're about out of time. Uh, this week will be interesting, too, what happens in Ukraine. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, you know, uh, pray. Prayer does, I believe, very seriously affect things. And now is yeah. a good time to pray. Yeah, Tim.